Signs of fall are already showing up across western Washington. Yeah, the colors are uh, really looking beautiful out there right now, but drought conditions could mean changes to what we typically see. Savannah Welsh spoke to experts about what we can expect in the coming days. Weather and drought are affecting how fall colors are turning out this year. I talked to experts who say leaves could turn earlier and in some areas fade faster than usual. Here's what that could mean for the coming weeks. It's always so beautiful and it's always such a nice time of year. After a long dry summer, experts say Washington's fall colors are showing up earlier and they might not stick around as long. We've fallen into a moderate to severe drought for most of the state and that has put a lot of stress on the trees and so they're sensing that and they're gonna try and shut down as early as they can. We're gonna be about a week, maybe 10 days earlier that we reach peak. Seattle Arborist Ray Larson says it might be early, but if the weather cooperates, we could still see some really beautiful fall colors. Usually peak for us is like the third week in October, I would say. It kind of depends what happens between now and end of October. And while the timing changes year to year, the science behind the color shift will be the same. Now that our days are shorter and our nights are cooler, chlorophyll, the green pigment that helps trees make energy from sunlight, is breaking down. The hidden pigments, called carotenoids, start to show through in bright oranges and yellows. Finally, tannins are left behind, which turns the leaves brown before they drop. The balance of the pigments, and how strongly they appear, depend on the tree species and the weather. Peak colors are expected in Whatcom, Skagit, Clellum, Thurston, and Yakima counties around October 7th, Central counties around October 14th, and counties including King, Pierce, Snohomish, and Clark should see peak color about a week later around October 21st. And while the Northwest doesn't have the rolling hills of the East Coast, Larson says the evergreen backdrop makes our colors really stand out. You really get that contrast with the dark evergreens and then these pops of color that kind of you know, almost highlight that color a little bit more. So whether you're headed to the mountain passes or just your local park, expect to see plenty of fall color. It might just be coming a little earlier than we're used to. Savannah Welch, King 5 News.